In this video, I will be explaining the basis of One Piece and some of the few things I think you need to you must know before going into it. Just be warned, it could possibly possibly contain spoilers. They are very minor and few spoilers. At most, they contain names of characters and some of the pictures that you will be seeing. However, it, w it won't be anything major. I made sure of that. But, if you're very picky about that kind of stuff, watch at your own risk. Hope you guys enjoy! Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a One Piece video. And in this video, I will be doing an introduction to the series for people who had yet to see it. So, let's begin. Now, while things can get pretty complicated, the main core plot is actually very simple. So, years ago, about 20 years before the start of the series, a man named Gold Roger attained everything the world had to offer, and instead that he attained wealth, fame, power, he had it all, and they called him the Pirate King. And before his death at the hands of the Navy, he told the whole world to go and search for his greatest treasure, the One Piece. His exact words were, my treasure? You want it? You can have it. I left everything I gathered together in one place. Now, obviously, because people, you know, are greedy, when they heard it, the greatest pirate of all time had hidden his treasure somewhere, and, it was, and they could go find it, people were like, well, we need to find it. So, his words started what is known as the Pirate Era. The main character's name is Monkey D. Luffy, and his dream is to find the legendary treasure One Piece, which is a treasure Roger was speaking of before he died. However, obviously you cannot be a pirate without a crew. So, the beginning of the series, and even up until the time skip, yes, there is a time skip, obviously it's so freaking long, is that it's pretty much Luffy slowly going on adventures and gathering crew members. And the first arc of the theory can be a little slow, because in the beginning, you needed certain crew members to be able to do anything. Like, to travel the sea, you need a navigator. You need a swordman. You need things like this to do the basic day-to-day -day things in a story. Like, the story couldn't progress at all, really, until these members were collected. Once you have the fu once you have the cook, all I don't want to give away spoilers, but once you have the cook, the story starts to move. That would be around the Arlon Park arc. You know, the theory is that when Ar One Piece gets really, really good. But before we, g g you know, finish up, I want to give this a quick synopsis of the theories and really just why One Piece is such an amazing theory. The biggest one is world building. If you saw Dragon Ball with all the gods and high level characters and higher beings and all the different planets with an expanded universe, well, you may not be able to handle how expanded One Piece is. What I'm about to show you and talk about is an overall estimate to what the One Piece world looks like overall. Now, the One Piece world is gigantic. But it is mainly, the main parts of it you would need to know about would be the East Blue, the West Blue, the North Blue, and the South Blue. You know, so those are the Thor Blues. Then there is the Grand Line. The Grand, and the Grand Line is said, is said, and as of someone who has seen the series up until, you know, current point, I can tell you that it just does hold up the most dangerous thing in the world. Due to the weather and the strikes of the people in it. But however, getting there is not easy, but the people there are really powerful. What I'm trying to say is that the Grand Line is where Roger's treasure is hidden. In fact, Roger's treasure is said to be hidden at the end of the Grand Line. But above all else, what everybody needs to understand in that One Piece is One Piece is not like Dragon Ball or Naruto or Bleach. One Piece is different. One Piece is a series that is separated into different stories, is really the best way to put it. Because the Straw Hat Pirate, the, which, is, which is what Luffy named his crew, the reason he named him that, you'll have to find out on your own when you watch it. But 
the, the Straw Hat Pirates are a group of friends going on adventures. The, the One Peak world, as I've been stating over and over, is so big that there is no overall story. Each island that they go to is a different story. At one point, they even encounter a man with a god complex. So then you, in one big, you can go from seeing a man with a god complex that can shoot lightning out of his hands. You can go from that to a guy that can just slow down time for 30 seconds. And who wants to, who wants to play a game with, with the main characters. I mean, every island holds different characters. And the t tone of its theory does change because, because the culture and situation of every island is different. There's not always going to be a fight to the death. Alright? So don't go into One Piece if that thing's done Goku versus Frieza fight by episode 100. Don't expect that because you, we may never get a fight of that level of powerful being classing, I'm, I guess you could say. The main characters are pirates. They are criminals. They kill people. Well, they don't really kill people, but you know what I mean. Pirates are viewed as killers, obviously. But the thing is that it isn't like Naruto, Dragon Ball, or Bleach, where there is one definitive villain. In One Piece, the villain or the antagonist is the one that is whoever Luffy feels like it should be. If Luffy doesn't like you, you may end up being the antagonist. But he's a pirate. He, he doesn't care whether you're good or evil. If you annoy him, you're his enemy. It's that simple. So don't go into One Piece thinking, Oh, oh, the Navy are the bad guy. Because really, would you th really they're not. They're, they're, they're the enemies of the main character, but that does not make them the bad guy. A great example of this is the Navy. The Navy are people that are fighting off pirates and arresting pirates. But then again, not all pirates are just going on adventure to have fun. Some pirates are legitimately going around killing, stealing. It's never stated directly, but possibly even raping. Raping women. Rape, raping women. You know what, I'm going to keep that in there. That's a pretty funny fuck up. But, but some pirates do do that. So as long as the Navy is stopping that from happening, are they really bad people? No. But, since the main characters are pirates, they are the antagonists most of the time. There are also people who work for the Navy in exchange for certain services. I don't want to get into too much. But there are people that work for the Navy so they can have certain privileges. And, you know, people that just help the Navy take down pirates. So there are those guys who are also antagonists. But, are they really evil? Some of them are, some of them aren't. Some antagonists are even other pirates. Because, well, as I said earlier, the antagonist is whoever Luffy wants it to be. Really, that's literally how it works. You know how many times Luffy had told his friend, Hey, guys, we're going to kick this guy's ass, and they've been like, But Luffy, and he'd been like, No, he pissed me off. Luffy will kick somebody's ass just because he is annoyed. But... One, but the world building in One Piece is amazing. There are so many amazing things about it. And I highly recommend the series. And also, I would like to announce a new series of videos I will be doing. And while doing this series, I will be taking requests from you guys about what this, um, like what I should cover in the next episode. It will be a weekly series. Where I will explain a different part of One Piece. Episode 1 should be out mm, probably the day after this video comes out. Or possibly the same day as this video. Where I'll be talking about all the different devil fruits. In which the, some of the characters get their powers from. How they work and what they do.